Good morning students. Welcome to today's session. In this session we are going to discuss about solid shapes. Okay. We have learned about the area of plane figures. They have only two dimensions that is length and breadth. Now we will study about the cubes, cuboids, cylinders etc. These objects are called the solids and they have three dimensions length, breadth and height. These objects do not completely lie in a plane as they have three dimensions. Okay. Surface area of a keyboard. So it is a keyboard. M N O P T Q R S. It is a keyboard. See, this is also a keyboard. Now, how many faces are the one, two, three, four, five, six faces? Okay. There are six faces. Okay. So it consists of a six rectangular faces. No, it consists of six rectangular faces. Therefore, surface area of a keyboard is equal to the sum of the areas of six rectangular faces. Okay. Consider a cuboid M N O P T Q R S. Consider a cuboid M N O P T Q R S whose length is L unit, breadth is B unit. And height is h units. That is m n equal to l units. m n equal to it is l units. n o it is equal to b units. And n r it is equal to h units. n r is equal to h units. n r n r it is equal to h height. Okay. So we know opposite faces of a cuboid are congruent, right? Opposite faces of a cuboid are congruent. That means as you consider this cuboid, this face and this face both are congruent. And these two opposite faces are congruent. Okay. So first find the area of a M N O P. Okay. Area of M N O P is also equal to area of TQRS because both are opposite faces. Okay. It is equal to area of TQRS. So that is equal to. So here length into breadth. This is length L into breadth means B. L into B means that is LB. Okay. So area of MNOP is LB. Okay. Next we can find area of MPTQ. Okay. Area of MPTQ is also equal to area of RNOS. RNOS. So that is equal to base into B into H. It is equal to B into H. That means BH. Okay. Next we can find area of M. N R Q. Okay. Area of M N R Q is also equal to area of P O S T. Okay. Area of P O S T. So that is equal to area of M N R Q is equal to L into H. L into H that means L H. Okay. Therefore, Total surface area of a cuboid is equal to total surface area of a cuboid is equal to sum of therefore total surface area of a cuboid is equal to sum of the areas of six faces okay so that is equal to 2 into lb plus 2 into bh plus 2 into lh okay so here 2 is common lb plus bh plus lh okay so therefore surface area of a cuboid is equal to 2 into lb plus bh plus lh okay lb plus bh plus lh Next topic, surface area of a cube. A cube is a special type of cuboid which all its edges are of equal length. Okay, for L is equal to B is equal to H. We know a surface area of a cuboid it is 2 into LB plus BH plus 
L H, right? Here L is equal to B is equal to H. Okay. So we can write surface area of a cube is equal to surface area of a cube is equal to 2 into L B. No, B is also L. So L into L plus B and H, B into H. That means L into L. Plus L into H, that means L into L. Because L is equal to B is equal to H. So that is equal to 2 into L into L L square plus L into L L square plus L into L L square. Okay. So that is equal to 2 into L square plus L square plus L square. It is 3 L square. That is equal to 6 L square. Okay. So surface area of a cube is equal to 6 L square. Surface area of a cube is... 6L square. Okay. Next topic. Surface area of a cylinder. Okay. In that join a figure. It is a cylinder with height H. Base radius. It is R. Okay. The length of the circled edge is 2 pi R. Length of the circled edge is 2 pi R. Circled edge means circumference of a circle. Okay. It is 2 pi R. Okay. Cut the cylinder along a line. On the surface parallel to the axis of the cylinder and unfold it. We will get a rectangle of length 2 pi r and breadth h. Okay. See, we will get a rectangle of length 2 pi r and breadth h. Okay. Therefore, covered surface area of the cylinder is equal to Area of the rectangle, area of the rectangle L into breadth, L 2 pi r into height breadth, it is h, that is equal to 2 pi r h square unit. Area of this rectangle equal to 2 pi r h square units. Okay. Therefore, total surface area of a cylinder is equal to area of its curved surface, that means 2 pi r h. Plus area of circles at the base and the top. Area of a circle is pi r square. Here also pi r square. So total surface area is equal to area of its curved surface. That is 2 pi r h. Plus area of a circle at the base and the top. Base it is pi r square. Plus here also it is pi r square. Okay. That is equal to 2 pi r h plus pi r square plus pi r square. It is equal to 2 pi r h plus pi r square plus pi r square. It is 2 pi r square. 2 pi r square. That is equal to 2 pi r into h plus r. Okay. 2 pi r into h plus r square units. So, surface area of a cylinder is 2 pi r into h plus r. Surface area of a cylinder is equal to 2 pi r into h plus r square units. Okay.